Hi, this is David with entry number 919. I double checked, so I'm pretty sure <laughs> we're at 919. Uh, basically, uh, I was going to record outside, but I went on a very long walk today and I just didn't think about it, to be honest. So I'm recording again in the same spot I recorded uh, today's video, wearing practically the same thing, or yesterday's video. But, um, yeah, I, well, you know, I've been trying to formulate some more thoughts about Japan and I'll move over into another room, Japan and kind of Japanese culture. And I've had quite a difficult time kind of, kind of like pinning down what exactly is so, what exactly is so uh, intoxicating about it. Uh, I guess to me, what is intoxicating about it? And I haven't really thought of anything that would make sense. Um, it definitely is attractive to me in ways that other countries, other countries are, uh, are not. I think I cut, I know for sure I'm extremely biased for one. I know that I love uh, being here because for so many years of, in my life, for so many years, I've, I've, I've really, frankly, I've fetishized this country in a way that is unfair and probably untrue, but nonetheless has happened to a degree in which that I can put up with a lot of BS. <laughs> I'll say that if if there are certain aspects that would normally vex someone who isn't really a part of this country I can tell you quite honestly that I don't care about a lot of the formalities that I think a lot of foreigners a lot of Americans I know for sure come across um, as annoying and I've always been someone who appreciates um, formality and who actually really loves it. Um, I think it takes away a lot of the kind of guesswork that comes with being kind of human. And I know that sounds strange, but um, when you have everything kind of laid out for you in such a way as it is in Japan, there's a lot less variables at play. You know, how do you greet someone? Um, how do you greet someone for the first time? How do you greet someone for the second time? A lot of these kind of menial things um, that we have in in society, any society, are very men are very set forth, are very on rails in Japan, and it's something that I like a lot. In America, you know, things can go can go sideways or randomly very quickly and in Japan a lot of that guesswork is taken out of play because the tradition dictates that it is done this way and this way only and I know to a lot of Americans that sounds terrible but to me I love that another thing I've noticed while I'm talking to a lot of my students or a lot of the people I teach I really don't like calling them students because I feel like teacher is something that has to be really earned. You can't just give some kind of like an honorary thing. I don't, I don't like that. But um, I've talked to a lot of the people I teach and they have said that, they have said that um, they work the same jobs like their whole lives. They never leave. Leaving your job is like incomparable, incomprehensible. Why would you why would you leave regardless of whether you like the job or not? I think a lot of Japanese people just tend to stay for the security of having a job because the competition here is so much harder than the US. Like if you think it's hard getting a job in the US in this economy, think about somewhere like Japan and it's much more intense. Um, 
lot of my students said it took around nine months to a year to find work and when you go through something as traumatic as that i think avoiding that situation ever again is something that's really important to you and so a lot of my student a lot of the people i teach have have been in their work for 15 20 25 30 years and the thought of leaving is like is is like i said it's incomprehensible it's, no i'm not going to ever leave this job luckily a lot of the um, a lot of these people are working jobs that pay quite a lot so I think they'll be okay but um, being I tell them I tell everyone that I and I honestly feel this way it's not just me putting on a some kind of BS claim that um, I have a lot of respect for people who are able to do jobs that they don't like and um, I know right now that's kind of a weird thing to say but nonetheless, I think it's very true that if you can put up with a lot of BS, it, it builds character. Maybe not in a way that is preferable to most people, but it for sure does things to, does things to your mind, to your psyche, to your philosophy that really builds strong character. So anyway, that's about it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon. Bye.